Well, this game has been concluded. Switzerland now have a chance into the knockout stages if they end up being the third best team, which I think their chances are pretty solid. As for Turkey, this team just went out sad. I mean, my condolences to the Turkish fans. This was abysmal. This was not the same Turkey team that beat France, tied France in the same qualifier to get to this tournament. This is not the same Turkey team that absolutely demolished the Netherlands 4-2. To be honest, the Netherlands were lucky to even get those two goals in that match. This is not the same Turkey that absolutely came into this tournament being the dark horse. Dark horse? Man, this team was trash! And I'm going to say it one more time for the people in the back. This Turkish team were garbage. This team was trash. Sorry. What the hell kind of campaign was this? And who the hell was responsible for this? Like, Turkish fans, if you're out there, let me know in the comment section below. Is it the coach? Is it the players? Because I know people are saying, well, this is a young Turkish team, whatever, yada, yada, yada. But they still had some players who were supposed to be in their prime. Hakan Çalnoğlu, he's 27 years old, in the prime of his career, and the guy was non-existent the whole tournament. Can you honestly tell me that you remember a moment that Hakan Çalnoğlu did something special? Burak Yilmaz, 35 years old, had no service from anybody. All in all, the midfield was an absolute disgrace at this tournament. As far as their defense, I'm not going to go too hard on them. Because you know what? Demiral is 23 years old. Sion Chu is 25. Those guys, honestly, defenders for the most part, get better with age. And honestly, by the time the next tournament comes along, the next Euros, Demiral is going to be 27. Sion Chu is going to be 29. At that point, we're going to be expecting more from this Turkish defense. And to be honest, I'm going to look at the Italy game as the catalyst to why this defense played as poorly as they did after the Italy game. It just seemed like the players were completely scarred from that match. I don't think they were really used to losing that bad. And as for the goalie, the goalie can only do so much. But to the midfielders and the forwards on this team, y'all were non-existent in this tournament. Completely non-existent, unimpactful, uninspiring, just overall horrible performance. But like I said, it's not like this team is trash on paper. So is it the coach? I don't know guys, let me know in the comment section below. But as for Switzerland, I mean, to be honest, this was a cakewalk for them. It literally, at no point did I think that Switzerland were going to lose from start to finish. It was a very easy game for them. I mean, Turkey went hard in the beginning. The first moments of the game were pretty much Turkey, especially the first 5-10 minutes. But like we've seen in this whole tournament, they just never look like a threat whatsoever. I mean, shit, I even gave this one player, Harris Safarovic, so much shit. For the last few matches that he's played, he's been non-existent in how bad he's been. But man, you guys made him look like he was world class. And look, to be honest, that was a good goal, point blank period. Harris Severovich definitely performed in this game. I can't say anything bad about him in this one. He definitely did his thing. But the main man of this team, Sherdan Shakiri, man was he a absolute beast in this game. That goal was something to remember. Same thing with Turkey's goal. I'm not going to lie. That guy, but I'm not talking about that. Their midfield ain't getting no praise for their overall tournament performance. Going back to Switzerland, though, they were very organized. Kind of like we saw in that Wales game. They were pretty much in control. They knew what they were doing. And I mean, the only way Turkey actually scored in this game was a goal from outside the box. So that just kind of goes to show that they weren't really able to do much to this team. Briel Mbolo was pretty much marked throughout the match. To be honest, I would have expected more from him. But then again, he's 24 years old. And I wouldn't quite rule him out doing something in the round of 16. But we'll see what happens. All in all, if I had to compare this team to anybody, it'd probably be Borussia Mönchengladbach. I mean, they do also have a lot of Swiss players, coincidentally. But it's kind of similar in the sense that they're organized, they're tough to beat. There's not really like a clear standout player who's like a superstar. But at the same time, they're very hard to beat. They're organized. But we'll have to see if they're one of the third best teams. And will this finally be the season where they actually get past the round of 16? That's going to be the question. See, them getting out of the group wasn't really the issue. It was more so the round of 16 and who they end up facing. I mean, they already kind of screwed up finishing third in the group. I mean, now things are really going to be difficult for them. Because if they would have finished second, they would have probably faced the runners-up of Group B, which would have been either Finland, Russia, and Denmark. I mean, would you rather face a team like that or would you want to face a team like the Netherlands? 
for example. All in all, they just made it difficult for themselves and honestly, we'll have to see if they get past the round of 16. We'll just have to wait and see which team they face. I think that will be key in deciding whether or not this team goes anywhere, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But yeah, I guess that pretty much concludes the group. Italy are in first, followed by Wales, Switzerland, and Turkey. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. How do you fancy Switzerland doing in this tournament? And as for Turkey, now that they've officially crashed out and this was their last game, what did you guys think of their tournament? Let me know down in the comment section below. But with that being said, that's going to conclude the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.